guys, what's up? It's me, Brianna, and today's video is going to be a back-to-school makeup look, so I'm back again with another one of my back-to-school videos for you guys, and today I decided to make this back-to-school makeup look all drugstore, so I'm using only drugstore products in this video, so it's super duper affordable, and I decided to make it really natural, glowy, kind of suitable for really all ages if you're allowed to wear makeup to school, so um, yeah, if, whether you're in middle school, high school, um, you can wear this makeup look, you can do some of the steps, you can take out some of the steps, kind of customize it to you, so I really really wanted to make it an easy makeup look that could be quick to do in the morning and um, that can kind of be suitable for all you guys that are watching this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and I will see you guys in a few seconds. Starting off this makeup look, I'm just going to moisturize my face with my Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer and I feel like no matter if you're doing minimal makeup, no matter if you're doing no makeup at all, I feel like it's always good to walk out the door with at least like moisturizer on your face so your face won't get dry. Also this one has SPF in it so it can protect your face from the sun and my actually the pump broke on it so I kind of had to do it the ratchet way and put on my face like this but I'll just be blending that all over and this is also a really nice base for makeup or foundation if you're gonna put that on for school So once my moisturizer is put on, this is totally optional, but I like to always go with something light for school or not putting anything on my face at all, but normally I would reach for something like a BB cream, so the one I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream, and to blend that in, I'm using the Wet n Wild Stippling Brush. This is one of my favorite stippling brushes just because it blends the makeup in so nicely, and I love this BB cream for school. I've been using it for probably three years now, and I love it for school because it's so lightweight, and this also has sunscreen in it as well. After the BB cream's done, I'll be going in with my favorite drugstore concealer, which is the Rimmel Matte Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. I love this because, again, it's one of those lightweight products. Now, you could completely skip BB cream and just use concealer if you have really good skin or you don't really want to wear BB cream, um, you just want to kind of cover up either dark circles or pimples. I would definitely recommend that, you know, the less the better to wear to school, um, but I am going to choose to use concealer today just to conceal my under eye circles and then a little bit of scarring that I have from acne since my skin, sadly, isn't perfect. But I love this just because it's like a two-in-one highlighter, so it is going to also help brighten on your under eyes. Once concealer is done, I'll be setting everything with my favorite powder, so I'll be setting the BB cream and the concealer as well with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This is by far my holy grail. The BB cream and concealer does give a little bit of a dewy finish, and I would like to stay matte all day because I have oily skin, so if you guys are looking for a really nice translucent powder to control oil and shine throughout the day, I totally recommend this one. I'll just be using my Real Techniques blending brush, not blending brush, powder brush to um, blend this into my face. Love this. It keeps me matte all day long. This next step is also totally optional, but I'll be taking my Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette to use as a blush and a highlighter. This does have kind of like a pinky toned highlighter shade that I like to use as a blush, and then it has a mix of a iridescent highlighter, a pearl highlighter, a champagne highlighter that you can use. Now, you do not have to um, wear highlighter by all means, but it's just a little extra something that I like to do to give me that glow and make me look more awake. I like to add a little bit of bronzer, so the one I'm using today is the e.l.f. bronzer palette, and my favorite color in here to use, I like to mix the one on the bottom left and then the one on the top right. It's like a matte and shimmer color, but I really, really love these two mixed together, and I'm just going to be um, bronzing at my face, my cheekbones, and everything like that, so um, yeah, I really, really like this. It's like $5 at the drugstore, which is awesome. I'm moving on to the eyes. For the eyes, I'll be taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Creamy Beige, and I love this for school because it's super easy to put on your eyes and then walk out the door. It's one step, one color. It's amazing, so I'll just be putting that on both of my eyes. Moving 
on just to add a little bit more dimension to my eyes I'm just going to be adding a crease color just because I mainly focus that color tattoo on my lid I'll be taking the color pop super shock shadow from the Kathleen lights collection in the shade Cornelius now I'm not sure if you can buy these as singles But I'll make sure to link everything I mentioned down below and then I'll just be taking a blending brush by Sedona lace and then popping that in my crease just to kind of use it as a transition shade Just to add a little bit of pop, I'm going to be taking the same Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette that I used earlier and taking this shade right here, which is the pearl shade, and putting that in my inner corner just to add a little bit of brightness. Next, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner and then tight line my upper lash line, and this is just going to add a little bit more definition to the eye. So after I'm done with the eyes, I'll be moving on to brows. Now I feel like if for me, especially if I do minimal makeup, I always like to make sure I definitely do my brows because brows are what frames your face. Now if you're one of a, a person that has really good eyebrows and you don't have to fill them in or you don't like to fill them in, by all means, you can totally skip this step, but I'm just going to show me filling my brows for the ones that would like to do their brows for school. So the products I'll be using are my NYX brow pencil and then just a little spoolie brush and then my Maybelline brow drama and I'll just be doing that to fill in my eyebrows. So once the brows are done, the last thing that I'll be doing is curling my lashes and then using two of my all-time favorite drugstore mascaras and mixing them together. So I'll be using two by Maybelline. This one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational and then this one is the Falsies Push Up Drama. I love the way these make my lashes look. They look so natural and effortless, effortless, <laughs> and effortless, but I love, love, love it. So I'll be curling my lashes and then putting those, putting those, putting the mascara on my eyelashes. Okay, that made a lot more sense. So that is pretty much all for this makeup look, you guys. The last thing that I'll only be doing is just applying a little bit of my EOS lip balm, and then that finishes off this makeup look pretty much. So, um, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys end up recreating this makeup look or doing this makeup look for school, be sure to tweet me at BriannaXBDX with the hashtag back to school with Brie. And I would love to see your pictures if you do end up creating this. I kept this all drugstore for you guys because I really wanted to try to make it affordable for you guys. Um, so I'll find all the products that I used in this video and link them down below so you guys can just go in the description box and click on them and find the products but I really hope that you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and would like to see more back to school videos for this year and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you all so much bye guys